Hey, what's up? I'm John Shred, and welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I was showing you the, the insane hash rates of an Asus Strix ROG 3080, which is considered probably one of the best of the best 3080 cards out there. Well, what if you don't have a 3080 and maybe you only have a 3070? Is it, is it still okay for mining? Well, I picked up this Asus Dual OC 3070 and this thing mines like a badass. Stay tuned for my overclock settings. Okay, now if you wanna see uh, exactly the settings that I did with the 3070 and, and how I got it to where it was, here, check this out. I'll reset afterburner back to, back to normal. Okay, so this is uh, normal settings. You can see here it's getting about 49 mega hash. First thing I try and do is, is see if I can overclock the RAM as much as possible. And you go in chunks. I mean, we know that it does well. I start with 500, uh, hit okay. I try and bring my fan speed here up to 80, just cause I just, once again, this is not a fancy card. I just, I don't mind the extra sound. It, and you just hear it kicked in there. It, it's fine, it's in my office here. I'm, I mean, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so now I've overclocked it 500 megahertz and it's gone from 49 mega hash up to 53. Now, considering I do have my monitors on right now, when you turn your monitors off and lock your computer, you get about five extra mega hash. So it's something to consider with this video, whatever I get in here, uh, in theory, it'll, it'll be a bit faster. So, okay, so we're at 53 mega hash. It's pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll keep going up. So I was just going up to, based on what I saw other people doing, kind of up around the 1,000 mark. So as I pump it up to 1,000, we will see. Okay, 55, 56, 56.8, 56.8. Okay, cool. So uh, around 56.8, now you're saying, okay, well, wasn't it at 58 or 59 at 1,000 mega hash? Well, I mean, at 1,000 megahertz on, on the overclock, yes. Uh, and so now what we need to do is, is start to, to bring down the power limit. So as you see here, it's using 205 watts of energy. That's 50 watts more than if I drop down. And surprisingly, your hash rates can increase when you lower um, the power limit. So I started to lower it down. Um, let's see here. Let's go down to 75, see what happens. I'm gonna go from 206 watts 6.7, so nothing's really changed. Still getting the same, but I am saving 25% on the power limit, which here, it should give me a, a pink update in a second and give me how much power. Okay, so we're down to 179. So I've saved 20 watts, 25 watts of energy, uh, and I'm getting the same, the same. So let's, let's keep lowering it. So let's go to 70, go, let's see what happens. Every card has its sweet spot. I did this in the 3080 video uh, and your card, even if you have this exact same Asus Dual OC 3070, it, uh, it, it may react a little bit different based on when it was manufactured and, and the RAM that's on it. So we are down to 168 watts, still running at 56.7. So um, let's keep going down. 65, I'm trying to do about 5% about increases you can once you're in, in that in that five percent range you can go percentage by percentage and see and see what works best okay so we're still at 56 down 156 watts okay let's bring this down to 60 and see what happens eventually you'll see something change drastically okay so now we're down to 56.5 56.6, 56.6. Eventually the card will freeze when, when you do this. Not the end of the world, you reboot your computer, everything will come back, it's fine. You can go to 55. I don't think I've ever been down to 55, so we'll try this together. So at 132 watt, this is pretty good. It's sitting at 56.5, 56.5. This is actually lower than I was recommending at, at 65%. I'm actually gonna try and run it there because I am saving another 20 watts and less watts is less dollar dollar bills, yo. Okay, well that seems to be working well at 56.6 at 55. If we go to 50, see what happens. Okay, 56.49, same thing. 
56.4. Okay, it's lowering a tiny little bit, but like we're talking 0.1 mega hash. In my opinion, still perfectly fine. Still sitting at 56. And considering that we'll get another, I don't know, five more when we turn, you know, turn the monitors off. It uh, at 120 watts. That's pretty good. I was running 150 watts before. So I'm gonna run this for a bit. Let's see if we can get any lower. This is. 56.2, so we've lost an, oh, 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 we just lost another 0.4. Oh, back up one. 56, running at 45% power at 108 watts, which is almost like less than half. Okay, I'm going to leave it there and try it out uh, and, and see if it lasts through the night or, or through the day. That is it. If you, uh, hopefully, if you have one of these cards, you can get similar or the same or better results than I have. Hopefully, this video helped you get. Uh, I mean, it helped me get my, my, <laughs> my power limit even lower and saving uh, heat and money, which is amazing. So yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll do a bunch more videos like this uh, with cards, anything to do with technology and, and essentially making money. Those are my two passions. So please follow. Awesome. Thanks again. See ya. Bye.